Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and today I'd like to look through Cooking Wild with you. It's not a cookbook review because I haven't cooked or eaten or made anything out of this book. I haven't even looked through it yet. I was waiting to look through it with you. It's more than 150 recipes for eating close to nature by Chef John Ash and James D. Frioli. And I really am worried that there's going to be a bunch of gross meat in here because I'm a lifelong vegetarian. But I will try to be strong because I want you to see what's going on here. Eat wild. To eat wild foods, you needn't crawl through the forest or hunt your own game. Many of them are as close by as your local supermarket. But this doesn't mean that wild foods aren't worth the hunt. Today's heritage breeds, paleo diets, farmers markets, and environmental concerns all point to increased interest in foods that are as natural, untreated, and healthy as they can be. More than 150 delicious and inventive dishes include warm dandelion salad, nettle pesto, dunk duck dumplings, roast pheasant stuffed with wild rice, bison and black bean chili, and huckleberry butter tart. Hmm. At their hearts, wild foods reflect a time of variety and ingenuity in our diets that is all but lost. Wild asparagus, purslane, fiddlehead ferns, bitter greens, huckleberries, wild boar, game birds, excuse me, game birds and seafood bring it all back. So the James Beard winning authors Chef John Ash and James O. Frioli are the perfect mouthpieces for eating back to nature. Chef John Ash is known as the father of wine country cuisine and has long advocated for ethical food that is good for us and the planet. Equal parts guidebook to our edible world and deft kitchen companion, this cookbook yields more thoughtful and flavorful meals. So we're going to look at the table of contents and then I'll skip ahead a bit and look at some of the recipes and photographs, but I can't show you the whole book. That's not fair to the authors and publisher. So this is by Running Press, photography by Tucker and Hostler. Chapter one, wild plants and herbs. Chapter two, nuts, grains, and seeds. Chapter three, fruits and sweeteners. Chapter four, meat and birds. Okay, I'll be tough. Chapter five, fish, shellfish, and aquatics. Introduction. He's talking about how his grandmother taught him to forage for wild plants, such as lamb's quarter, also known as goosefoot or pigweed, wild asparagus, purslane and huckleberries, and to catch trout with his hands. Wow. Chapter one. Cattail pollen pancakes. Cattail and lentil doll. Dandelions. A chiltepin flan. <clears throat> Notice there's not a lot of pictures. Creamed dandelion greens and warm dandelion salad. Edible wildflowers. Okay. Oh. That's a pretty. That looks like a rose. He's teaching us how to make wildflower vinegar and crystallized wildflowers. Teaching us about fiddlehead ferns, which I actually have in the woods near my house. Pickled fiddleheads. Oh. I'm gonna have to go foraging for sure. Lamb's quarter fritters, mesquite, and a frittata, mesquite cornbread, coconut mesquite smoothies. So not a lot of photographs, so let me start skipping ahead. Moroccan tomato and purslane salad, harissa ramps, ramp soup, sea beans, Stinging nettles. I have those in the woods by my house, too, and in my front yard. Ugh. Wild arugula. I didn't know that existed. That's cool. Here's a recipe for salad of wild arugula, baby artichokes, and fennel. Grilled asparagus with lemon, olive oil, pecorino, and prosciutto. I'm skipping ahead to the mushroom section. Mushroom dashi, candy cap custard sauce. Sablefish with chanterelles and parsley. Morels. Here's crab stuffed morel mushrooms. This is grilled fresh porcini mushrooms, yum. Nuts, greens, and seeds chapter. Hickory nut tort, oh wow. Pignon bread, I think that's pine nut bread. I could be wrong. Wild rice and turkey mini muffins. Stuffed grape leaves with cucumber yogurt sauce. Gooseberry granita. Huckleberry muffins. 
pork kebabs with honey and pomegranate molasses. Here's the meat and birds chapter. Bison and black bean chili. Venison. Here is grilled medallions of venison with huckleberry, or I'm sorry, blackberry sage sauce. Mealworm or cricket fried rice. Live fire grasshopper guacamole. Luckily, there's no pictures. Duck dumplings and how to make them. There they are when they're done. Here's grilled quail with pickled figs and prosciutto. Now we're in the fish and shellfish chapter. For example, there you go. <coughs> Saigon clams. Clams casino. Rockfish cakes with homo homemade tartar sauce. And sea urchin. And trout and grilled trout with herbs and pancetta. Fried frog legs finishes up the book. That was your sneak peek through Cooking Wild, more than 150 recipes for eating close to nature. I hope you enjoyed it and found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.